You tell me how much yeah, you want, bro. bro. You, that's good. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just to loosen me up a little I mean, bit. Shit. All right. We'll take right. the pre one before it. Right. Get ready. Right. Train on, right. bro. Thank you for having me, dog. Man, this episode 23, and we got a pro. <laughs> we got a pro. What's your name, bro, for everybody? Um, my name is Jail One Speed Lopez. <laughs> man, I appreciate you coming, man. Uh, this is first time meeting, first time in person meeting, and we talked briefly, but we finally got you out here. No, to, I really appreciate to, it, dog. To like, tell you, know. you're in your fucking journey. <laughs> Came off of pro, uh, your pro show. You finally turned pro. You're at top of the mountain, but now how we were just saying off of camera, now you're yeah. climbing to a bigger one. Yeah. How, how old are you? Uh, I'm 28. 28? Yeah. She <laughs> at the prime. I, 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 still, I, still, I feel kind of old, but, you know, I'm getting older, but, you know. And it's, it's it's coming up, but you know it's only it's only the start. That's cool because man, you can't say it because it's, I'm 25, she's she's 27. And you, got, you guys are yeah, so you guys are making me feel old. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Maybe yeah. I should have shaved a little bit more before I came. <laughs> um, what do you do be, um, for people that that follow us and that don't know you, and the people that know you and want to um, really? What I do is I'm a I'm a bodybuilder. Um, I compete in men's physique. Um, uh, I've been doing it for about almost six, seven years now. Started in college and yeah, I just basically what I do, you know, just fucking, I try to, you know, motivate people and, uh, just, you know, help people start their journeys and, you know, spread my energy to help yeah. them, you know, start their own stories. How did you get to that position to start um, that? The way I got into, it, um, might be kind of weird, but like. My my ex ex girlfriend and her dad were bodybuilders and you know like uh, they did it and then like they did a show I went to support and you know I was like damn this looks pretty cool you know like you know yeah. I've always been active and always been sports yeah. so I was like all right I'm gonna just give it a try and you know I just kind of just you know just see where cop we go. copied what they did and you know and they just got into it and it just blew up you know i always been active always played sports all my life yeah you know, once i got into college you know it, it was a different demographic for me because like i always wanted to play college ball it didn't happen so i ended up going to a really you know blessed to go to a really good school i was going to try to run track but you know waking up 6 5 a.m in the morning wasn't <laughs> my thing so i ended up doing you know just going to school join the frat just typical typical you know like college life you know, yeah. uh, living, 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 you know, that, um, that, what is it called? That college dream type thing. Yeah. You know? Like what everybody talks about. Yeah. Go to college, about, yeah, going to college party, party. Yeah. This and that. Meet people and stuff, which was good. And then, yeah, I just, you know, I, my, my ex-girlfriend was, a uh, in a sorority and, you know, I met her through that and then, and and bam. This, yeah. And their, 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 uh, family member, their uncle, or I think their cousin or something like that. Is a professional, and he he was coaching them. Oh and, snap! Um, and then I just you know kind of just hopped on board with them, <laughs> and, and bam! And and now seven years later, you're still oh yeah, you're in in the game at how, not even how you said not even at your peak yet. Yeah, to be honest, you, it's been a journey, you know, and uh, it's it, right now it's the start of a new chapter in the book that you know uh, I'm not satisfied of you know where I'm at. You know, I still got a lot to prove and. Um, I, I I don't think, you know, being a pro right now, just getting my card is like, is something to celebrate. Yeah. I haven't even proven myself or I think, I don't even think I'm worthy yet that, uh, you know, I'm ready to be in the league, but I'm ready to show and prepare to show them I am here and I'm ready to prove yeah. myself. So when you did that, I would, you would say like the transition to go into men's physique, be a bodybuilder full time, did you get... I would say like hate. Did you get like don't uh, do it? That's why you're gonna do that. Yeah, it doesn't do it, this. It, it it came a lot, you know, like going to school and like people or you know, you you lose people in it and it, it's know. hard because it's a different. It's a it's a to be honest, fitness is a lifestyle. This sport is a hard sport to do because it's more focused on you. Yeah, you know, like it was hard, you know, doing it, and not being able to, you know, you know, stop partying saying no to people, you know, you know, back then, you know, to be honest, I'm not perfect. Let, let's, let's put it out there, you know. 
Um, I used to find ways to cut corners. You know, I'd still find ways to drink. Sometimes I'll just DD my friends just to go out. Yeah. And, you know, it just took a toll. And, you know, like, if you're really serious about the sport, you got to really, you know, put your, your, your all into it. You know, I love this sport with all my heart. To be honest, it's changed my life and it's helped me a lot. Yeah. You know, you know, and it's like, it's, I have the passion for it, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. Talk about like the, I, I'm very curious to know like your upbringing because like how you said, like you weren't, you, you would say the background that you had, it was, it was harsh. Yeah. But it, that helped you transition into coming into all this and having that fire. And no, yeah. Cause you know, um, growing up, I, I played football my life and football nice. got, got, I, I think my mentality as a as a as an athlete came from playing sports. My mom put me in sports growing up. I almost played almost every sport growing up. Oh, if good. you could think of, you know, I, yeah. played, I played a little bit of hockey. I played played fo- football and track was my main thing. I played baseball, basketball, everything. You know, yeah. uh, you know, growing up having ADHD. You know, I was on you know Ritalin and stuff. And like the doctor was all like, you know, what you know, won't you just throw your son into sports? You know, to release that energy, energy yeah. uh, that energy, and bam. So bam, and then it just clicked. You know, I got into football, and I just loved the 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 what is it called? The adrenaline. The, yeah, you could hit somebody without getting in trouble, <laughs> and, yeah, and like facts. and like you know, it just I just fell in love with it. Yeah, and you know my you know my mom's given me everything. You know, I come from a single parent household. My mom, is, my mom's done everything. You know, it's you know it's been rough. You know, here and here and there. You know. She basically, you know, without her and giving her everything that I have now, I wouldn't be in my position. You yeah. know, me and my mom, you know, like I love my mom so like a lot, but we don't have the best relationship. But you know, I know she still wants the best for me. Yeah. And um, you know, like I truly do this for myself, for her to show her that you know I'm gonna make it. You know, yeah. I know I went to school and like I know she sees me and. Um, I'm not really like doing something, something, you know, like I don't have a real job that has like um, 401k and all yeah. that. She always bugs me about that and like <laughs> insurance, you know, that is important. Yeah. But, you know, like I'm pushing myself for this because I love this. And I know, oh, I, you know, you know, even my coach told me um, I'm under cuts, you know, you know, a, a lot of people, you know, know who he is. He's like one of the biggest coach right now, but like. You know, he even told me, you know, there's a lot of money in this industry that could be made. Yeah. You know, but to me, it's not about the money, you know, like, you know, yeah, you, it's going to help you, you know, this, this and that. But, you know, um, yeah, it's just, you know, it, it's 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 a lot, you know. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. It's especially like I, I just in the fitness industry where I started and how people started to know me is because of the gym. It was more like a powerlifting, more mm-hmm. as if weight, as be the grind, because that was an escape. Yeah. Out of everything that's happening out through the day, I was like, fuck, the it gym is. is an escape. Yeah, gym is. And I take it personal when a lot of people still don't, they say, oh, gym, gym is life. And in reality, they just don't take it that way. It's yeah. like, well, if you've been in the gym and you've cried and you've, because you're letting out emotions, like, all right, it's different. But in the way you're, you're going, it's like, I'm the prize, and in order for me to be at top of my game and for this to be rewarded, I'm all in. Yeah, yeah. There's no, like, half in, half no, out. No, yeah, because it's basically, it's, you know, like Nipsey said, you know, all money in, you know. Facts. Like, you know, I have a pendant that I wear around my neck made by one of my homies, and, I, I like, legit, it's like a fucking, like, but I wear that shit around <laughs> my chest, you know. Yeah. Like, I, you know, I, I told myself, you know, like, coming back in this industry, like my story, you know, I was on and off. When I came back into this industry, I was going to put it all on the line. I was going to give it my all because I was coming from a harsh, harsh area coming back. I've been in it for a while, like six, seven years, you know, like I had my peaks in the industry. Yeah. Like I should have been, to be honest, back then I should have kept going because I should have been pro like earlier. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that happened, you know, like, just like personal stuff, you know, like that hit me and like, I, you know, I lost passion for it. Uh, I lost the love for it. It felt like a job and like, you know, I just, you know, I just needed, I, I took time off, you know, partied a lot, just, you know, going out all the time, all the events that I could get my hands on with my friends, Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, but in real, in reality, to be honest, me doing that was like 
um, short-term satisfaction. Like, I love going out. I love music, this, this, and that. But, you know, like, you know, going out, getting fucked up, you know, you're just, you wake up, you're just like, fuck, dude. The yeah. next day, you go just do it again. But it's like, it's all short-term. Yeah. And that was, that, that, was, that, was, that was basically giving me that, um, what is it called? That satisfaction I needed. But really, like, you moment. know, when it's over, like, yeah. when the week starts over again on Monday, you're just like, you lay there and you're just like, fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you're just like, damn, you're just waiting for the week weekend to come up and, and like get that. To redo get, it. Get, get, get that, like get that, that, what is it called? That, that fix. That fix. That fix. Yeah, exactly. It's like a drug. Yeah. You know, just to get just to be happy. Yeah. You know, deep, deep down inside, like like it, it was that was what was keeping me, like, you know, like keeping me going. But really in my heart, that's not what really what I wanted to do. So now that uh the you're how you said you came back you're turning pro and everything did the circle that you have had to change in order Uh, for this to be more a little a little bit um you know i still you know my friend like my friends support me you know you know like a lot my friends love me being out with them and stuff because you know like i have that energy they always want me out yeah you know like they support me, you know, like, you know, there's some people that, you know, probably don't support it, you know, and don't show it. Yeah. But, you know, it's hard, you know, but the thing is, like, I had to learn to just swallow it and just be like, nah, you know, like, if you're really, like, someone that rides with me, you yeah. respect my decision. It's yep. not it's not one of those things, like, you know, like, oh, yeah, like, you know, you, you, you won't go out with them, and then you're like, you're really doing something different, and it's like, you know, you're like, you're like going yeah. out with other people, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm actually trying to do something, like, and I'm yeah. accomplishing stuff, you know, like. Yeah, because it's not yeah. easy. It's not, it's not, you know, like, it sucks not being out there with my friends because, you know, my friends are everything to me, you know. I love my friends. And, you know, um, you know, saying no, not being able to eat with them, not able to go out with them. It, it's hard to sometimes, you know, like, you know, they're part of, like, my heart and my family, you know, yeah. like, to say, like, you have to be like, damn, you have to really. It's like, you know, when you're, you're, you're having a kid and then you're, you're like. Yep. You, your son really wants something, but you want to teach him something. Yeah. But you're like, no, you can't have that. Yeah. And you see them just fall, like, you know, just sh- like, you know, start like balling <laughs> up like, dad, I want that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But really, you're like trying to, you know, like, it, you know what I mean? It's a bigger lesson. It is, it's you know, but lesson. the thing is like, you know, there's a lot of people that came into my life that actually, you know, pushed me to be where I'm at. Yeah. You know, there's like a couple people, you know, like one person I would like to say is like, you know, Dylan Lynn. I don't know if you've seen him on my gram. He's that young kid that, you know, he's, I met him at the gym at 24, um, like two years ago. Yeah. And if I didn't meet him, I don't think I would be in my position today. And, you know, Dang. I was just with him last night. It was yeah, really funny. Yeah. And I told him, you know, without, and he's a young kid. He's like, he's, he's only, what, 23? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. He's only 23, yeah. And, and we, we, when I met him, we kind of like set a goal together and was like, we're going to, I'm going to get back into it. And, you know, we're going to turn pro together. Yeah. And we did. Oh shit. That the, you know, that yeah. kid, we turned pro together and he's only 23. Mm. And we said that when we said this 2 years ago, you said and, the, you and he said it. and he see, and, and that kid seen me at my worst. And but the thing is he knew who I was because of back then in my 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 resume. Yeah. But back then when I met him, I was just legit like, you know, like I was like a dad, like dad bod look, like you know what I mean, <laughs> like, you know, People thought I was still, you know, but really, you know, I was just going to the gym, just, just, getting just, like, just it. holding it on. Yeah. You know, I was going day by day and wasn't taking it seriously until, you know, I really met him. And then, bam. And ever since I met him, we've been like, you know, tight and, you know, he's changed, he's helped me change my life and get back to what I truly love. And I truly love this sport. Yeah. And this is what I was meant for. And I truly believe in my heart, you know, like, you know, God puts things and it makes you realize what you're really meant for. Oh, facts. And, and you know, facts, that facts. kid really, really made me realize that I was meant to be back in the sport. Yeah. Meant to, you know, share my energy and, and spread it to everyone else. As much as you, you know, can. You know, and I'm just trying to push it out, you know, to, to the world, you know, even for, 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 my, for being Filipino. I'm trying to push it to my culture and everyone else around me. Yeah. You know, the thing, thing that I'm, you know, what... I told myself, you know, like, like I said, I'm not perfect. Facts. During the time that I was coming back, you know, I, I've done, I've done stuff that I wasn't proud of. And, you know, and I told myself in, in, after I won my overall in the Cal, like a month prior, 
in one of my posts, I told myself, for all the wrong that I did in the past, I would try to give it tenfold back to the industry just to make up for what I what I didn't, you know, yeah. for the mistakes I've done for myself, mistakes that I've, you know, hurt people and, you know, and, and, and all the stuff that I've done. That's amazing. Because, bro. you know, like being blessed to have, you know, what came from winning, coming back strong. I actually just came back last year. Last year was just a startup. Yeah. I did three shows last year and I got a qualification in San Diego. Uh, I went to the overall, missed it. Um, that, that, that during COVID I went, uh, I did the same thing. I did. I went to South Carolina, yeah. I did universe place. Like, I think I placed top 12 and, you know, and, uh, and then, then the following couple of weeks, uh, I did, uh, USA's I placed like top 15, top 20. It wasn't, you know, and, and I was getting, you know, like go leading up to those shows. Like, you know, I thought I was looking like my best, but it wasn't really, you know, yeah. like you kind of think in your head, like you're coming back and you're just like. You know, like, you think you're like, you know, oh, I think I'm set. But really, I wasn't. Yeah. You weren't as prepared yeah, as you yeah, wanted. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't. Because uh, yeah, it was a hard time during that, you know. Yeah. You know, I had to admit, you know, during COVID, it's hard to do it, you know. And um, it's crazy because, like, um, I think during uh, the USA show, the, the second national show when I was trying to turn pro. Yeah. The night before, I was getting a lot of, like, hate DMs, like, from random accounts, like, just fake, you know? Yeah, like oh shit. You know what I mean? Like, people don't understand, like, you know, there's a, there's, there's a lot of bad stuff that comes out of this, too, you know? Uh, like, yeah. yeah, you know, like, the way I act and, and stuff is, you know, like, I'm pretty flashy and stuff, you know? But I was built around the culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you grew up in... I grew up in Carson. In Carson. You know, and, like, you know, I've been around the culture all my life. You know, the yeah. culture is what made me. And, you know, I'm thankful for that because, you know, like, you know, this, this, per, this is my, who I am, my character. Yeah. It's a persona that I picked up and I built myself around it. Yeah. You know, the whole thing about people, you know, like, you know, acting African-American, this, this, and that, you know, but, you know, like, really, I just was built around it and, yeah, and, and I love the culture, you know, it's helped me a lot. And, um, but yeah, going from that, like, you know, people, I was getting DMs, like, you know, like, uh, you should stop competing, you know, your coach should drop you, um, you should, you should, you know, this, this, and that, the day before my show. Uh, and I was just like, during the stages that I was coming back, you know, yeah. like way before that, when I stopped competing and I came back and I was on and off, I was in like, in a, disp like, depression area, but, you know, like, yeah. I didn't, I didn't really know who I was and like, what was really making me happy. You know, mm. like, that's why I was going out and stuff, because it was, like, the co compensate for, like, for the hurt that I had in my... You were, you were just trying to give yourself that, how, you, how we said earlier, that quick fix. Yeah, that quick fix. Yeah, because, that, you know, uh, like make you forget you know, about what's happening and because, shit. Because, like, you know, a lot of my friends are very successful. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to say that, you know, they love what they do or anything, but, like, a lot of them are nurses. They got their careers. They got, you know, they have their things, and, you know... Yeah. And sometimes, you know, like, when I hang out, uh, like... I even tell my friends sometimes, like, to be honest, when I see them, I'm just like, fuck, what am I doing with my life sometimes? Even when I go out, yeah. you know, you're out with them, and, you know, like, I had that moment, like, I'm just like, damn, you know, they're all set, you know, they they have their girls, they're about to, get, they're going to get married, you know, you yeah. know what I mean? They have careers, Yeah. and I'm here, like, partying and stuff, and, like, and I'm just like... Well, that's good, though, like, you, yeah. you gave yourself that, yeah. that reflection and that no. self-reflection that a lot of people just... Mm -hmm. Don't want to yeah, do no, a lot it. Of you people know what I mean? Don't even see that. You no, know? a they lot don't. of people don't see that in me because like they see what they see on the gram and you yeah, know, they they don't really know like what I've been through. You know, like there was times that I think about like you know like when I was depressed, I was like, dude, what am I doing? Like you know, like I'm going out all the time. You know, like they don't they don't, they don't understand that the, the the back that that back door. Yeah, in front of all this and all yeah, that energy to it, have. It's a and we said it. And I've said it before in other, in other episodes, like, all right, what we put on social media, what we put on videos, what we put on our posts, that's just, like, the face of it. Yeah. But in order for us to get to this position, what did we have to go through? Yeah. What decisions did we have to make that we had to make decisions that were hard ones? But now we're, where we're at today in age is, like, well, I'm glad I did it because... Mm -hmm. Even if it was a bad one back then, mm -hmm. I learned and now I'm here. Mm -hmm. So you can't take shit away from me. Yeah. Like how you said, you came from Carson, you grew up around the whole culture area where we came from the same way. It's just mm -hmm. like, 
we're just products of the environment. Yeah. But we didn't use it to our disadvantage and be like, well, I'm going to be this type of person just because of that. It's like, no, I am still me. How you said, I just picked up that. Yeah. It's, it's a, it's part of me. Yeah. But there's nobody else like me. Yeah. And I believe you that. Know, I always say this too, because, you know, like, you know, um, I always get a lot of DMs of people saying, like, something that I always get is, like, um, people say, like, oh, I want to be like you. Mm. Oh, I want to be just like you. Da, da, da. But yeah. I, I tell them, what my, I, I don't like that statement. It's, it's nice to hear that. It's a blessing. Yeah. People want to be like you. you yeah. know? But I always tell them, right, once I hear that, I'm like, be better than me. Thanks. Be better than me. Don't be like me. Be better than me. You could you could replicate the hard work I do and stuff, but create your character, create yeah. your story. You know, don't be afraid to be who you are. Yep. Who you want to be? Because yeah. you know, during this time right now, like people are scared to Facts. to be who they are. Yep. You know, exactly. not not to not to be you know like too uh, what is it called? vulgar or anything. You know, nah. people being being you know gay. This isn't that. Yeah. If you want to be gay, be gay. Be happy. Be If that makes you happy, be fucking happy. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, for me, it's like, I would, you know, if someone's happy, just let them be happy. You yeah. know what I mean? I think even, even besides, like, that fact or whatever it is, whatever you decide in your life, how you said in your message, like, just be happy yeah. in whatever you do and whatever you like, whatever your passion is. If your passion is cooking, if your yeah. passion is working on whatever it is. Yeah. Just be happy and don't try to bring down the people around you yeah. or other people because you're just not happy in yeah. your own lane. And I was talking about this with, with some, one of my buddies uh, on, on Friday. They're like, oh, dude, like these people make make fun of you or make fun of this or they're always talking shit. And, then yeah, it, yeah. and I'm like, maybe they're just unhappy no, in, yeah, in some yeah. part of their you, life. You don't, you don't know what, the, what, to be honest, you don't know what people are going through. Yeah. Days, you know what I mean? You and know, especially now I'm that. I'm not going to lie. I hide my shit too be behind, behind you know, you know um, I know, to be honest, the way I perceive myself on camera is the same person I perceive myself off. Facts. But at the same time, you know, you, you, you don't know what's going behind my head or what I've been through. No. You know what I mean? The mental like, aspect, you know, bro. The what keeps emotional. Me, well, yeah. What keeps me going is that there's a lot of people that feed off my energy. Yeah. And, you know, that makes me happy. Facts. It's part of it. it. But there's other things that, you know, that in life that, you know, like you can't control. So that gives, does that give you like a, like, like that little push? Like, all right, these people are feeding off my energy. No, so yeah, that means I, I got to bring my game. I, absolutely. You know, you know, for me, it's like knowing that I can motivate these young guys that want to be in the industry and, yeah. and all these people that, that, you know, they have bad days and they're just like, oh, dude, just watching your stuff makes my day. Yeah. Just small things like that, it, it means a lot. Yeah. It, it could go a very small things of giving my energy goes a long way for other people, yep. and, and it's and it's crazy because like you know I love seeing it you know like yeah. and like people you know I even said in one of my posts that you know you know energy is one of the strongest things you know because yep. people could feed off it this this and that yeah because once you come into a room and the energy isn't right yeah you just know it you right just away. know yeah the like vibes don't the, lie yeah the vibes, vibes don't lie, do not know? fucking lie my homie used to tell me that all the time you know you know when you you know if the vibes aren't real then you know it just doesn't work you know yeah it's true and and i think that just it hap that just reflects on the environment you're in especially how how you're saying that the decisions you had to make about saying no to going out or to eating and stuff like that a lot of other people that i know and that i hear about they just don't want to make those tough decisions to make themselves better and like hey well I'm going to go to the gym today because I, I need yeah, to, right? Yeah. Nah, let's go eat. Why are you going to do that? It's a waste yeah. of time. Just go tomorrow. Go tomorrow. Go tomorrow. Yeah. Putting it off. But in reality, like, especially where you're doing, it's like, imagine me putting that off every day because yeah. whatever excuse, yeah. I would never be in my position. Yeah, there's a lot of people. That, there's a lot of ways to, you know, work around it, too. Sometimes, you know, like, there's times that I would bring my food and let my friends eat, you know. Yeah. It's kind of hard. <laughs> to be honest, like, you can't yeah, do that dude. all the time, dude. Yeah. To be honest, like, for me, like... I want to work, get to the gym, yeah. Eat my meals, go home, rest and get be get ready for to get better the next day. Yeah. Cuz every day is, for me is a day for me to get better. What what's like a a day in the life from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep? Uh yeah, usually like you know like I, uh, I um what do you call it? I just, you know, I wake up, do my morning routines and stuff, rituals for, you know, like my health and stuff. You know, I I go to work and then 
Um, after that, I go straight to the gym and then just basically, you know, work out until I feel like I'm like, you know, <laughs> like I, I'm yeah. good, you know, like I, I've, I've, I've done what I needed to do, then go home and just restart the day. What, what time do you start your day? Like, uh, usually around like sometimes around like eight ish, nine ish. Oh, okay. You know, cool. sometimes, you know, you know, I was very blessed to work for my homie and stuff. And, you know, I took time off to really focus on, you know, you know, um, what do you call it? Like competing. You know, it's a blessing, you know, to have people that, you know, really support your, your what you see, what you're doing in your dreams. You know? Yeah. And I'm very thankful for them for letting me do that. You know, Cause yeah, it's cause really rare. Yeah. To, 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 for that, to you really know, have people yeah. that support you and that yeah. see it. Maybe they don't see the dream the way you do it, yeah. but they see the they way you see, see it. They see the passion. They, yeah, they, exactly. And, and then after you, they, you know, you, you, the results then they're like, oh, damn, this kid must be serious. Like, he's serious and, about it. You know? And he's not just like, well, I'm just going to go do this. And ah, like, he's not serious about it. He's, mm-hmm. he's still fucking around. No, yeah. But it's like, no, look into my eyes. Look at everything I've, like, <laughs> like I told him outside. I was like, God damn, you're even bigger in person, bro. <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm blessed that people, you know, it's that happens a lot. You but know, it, like, it's it's a result, bro. It's a result of that of the hard work that yeah. a lot of people do. Yeah. Don't want to invest yeah. in themselves in whatever. Again, maybe they don't want to be bodybuilders, powerlifters. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe they don't want to do anything in the fitness industry. Yeah. But in whatever industry they want to, it's like, well, did you take the time to really mm-hmm. invest? How the quote you just said earlier that what was it? Elon Musk. I'd rather work twelve hours for myself than eight yeah. hours for somebody yeah. else. Mm-hmm. And it's like people don't see it that way. Yeah, people. Yeah, people don't see it. You know, like some people are. You know, like. We live in the world that you know people are scared, it, yeah. and it's true. I I'll, don't don't get me wrong. I'm always one of those people too. Yeah, it's scary. Like, it's but we're, it, we're we're we were lear- we were born, you know, being born in the '90s. You know, I bet you yeah. were born in '90s too. You know, yeah. you you come out, go to school, you go to college, get a degree, you get a good nine job. to five, four hundred one k insured. Yeah. But now this world is is evolving so quickly. That's just flipped upside e- down, yeah, everybody, bro. Everybody, you you don't some, to be honest, like. Don't get me wrong. You got to you should go to college if you want to this this and that, but yeah. there's a lot of people that don't go to college. Yeah. Full-time entrepreneurs, bi- business builders, uh stocks and all that. People are getting into stocks and stuff and finding yeah. more incomes and more ways to make money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they just they took a they took a different route than what was taught taught to us mm-hmm. in kindergarten. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like go to school Get all A's, pass your classes, uh, get a good good job after college. Mm-hmm. You'll get a great house and yeah. you'll be successful. Have a family and you know this is and it's like and then it just repeats the cycle because yeah. you just pass it on to your kids and stuff. Yeah, you know, like you know, once I have my family and my kids and you know, you know, I don't know, not having a dad, you know, I always told myself growing up, you know, like I would be the best dad I could be to my kids because yeah. I didn't have a dad growing up, and uh, that's hard. Having just a mom, you know, like it's not easy for a mom to be a mom and dad because yeah, they could do both, but it's not the same. No, it's you know, not. What I mean? the love, you know, there's no greater love than a mother's love, but there's, there's there's things that a dad that that you know that does that you know helps yeah. you grow up in life. You know, teaches you how to be a fucking man. You know, teaches you how to you know do certain things. Facts. You know, you know, you know, being me, I had to learn that just growing up myself. Yeah. You know, have I was blessed to have other my closest friends as my dads. You know, I learned from them. They taking care of me, but it's not the same when you don't have it. That's your own. That's the same, yeah. We're back. We're about to take a <laughs> shot to loosen up a little bit more. It's my man. a little bit. I need a little bit more on that yeah, one. You could put a little bit more on that one. Shoo. There it is, man. We're loosening it up. We're getting started. You know. <laughs> Cool. And a toast. Cheers. Appreciate you. Second part. Yep. <sighs> we're not sponsored by Bang or anything, and but we're drinking some Bang. No, today. it's funny. Funny thing about these, I did a, I did a thing. I used to shotgun these. Oh, uh, sh- shout right. out my boy Jose. <laughs> my boy Jose is crazy. We took like, he has more videos, but we did like a TikTok and we did a couple videos. He was like, if you don't shotgun it, then it's not working. I'm like, <laughs> here we go. And I'm burping right after. And we're like right before the gym. But he just got off of a 
uh, powerlifting the nationals over there in Palm Springs. So mm-hmm. shout out, got their place in his first time. Gotcha. And uh, man, to for you to meet him because he's one of those that he's going all in in this industry, yeah. in that powerlifting industry. Mm-hmm. And the last the last year, he went from doing it part time and, and focusing and being strong to day in seven yeah, days a week yeah. and it's to a really part of it and really put you know his time yeah. and love into it and then we we he tags a lot of people i tag a lot of people like brands i'm like sponsorships <laughs> <laughs> maybe one day we'll get we'll get it's all about putting you know your content and always the best way to me like you know i'm not that guy that takes hand me outs but the best thing to do is always tag post and show that you're supporting them yeah. and you know it will come you know like, like I'm, you know, growing up, you know, to be honest, like to make it, yeah, you're, you need to ask for help no yeah. matter what it's going to happen. But, you know, you know, for me, like, I'm not the type that to be like, oh, hey, I'm this person, you know, I want, uh, I want to earn, earn some, I want to earn yeah. the spot. We're just, we're just talking about it. Uh, Cause you're all, you're all decked out oh, with the yeah, woods, you know, man. The, you head know, to toe. Head to toe, you know, got the shorts, the shirt, the, the hat. hat. You know, had to, you know, for the for, for the for, interview. <laughs> yeah. For the ones that don't know, uh, it is one of the I wanna say one of the top just sporting brands overall mm-hmm. movement yeah. that is just taking over. Yeah, it's one of the biggest um brands in the bodybuilding community. Yeah. Especially for the, you know, men's physique and uh, uh classic physique guys and and you know also they you know they added the lady wolves and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. it's getting it's it's being expanded and it's really really big in 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 the bodybuilding community. And it's winners, champions. Yeah. It's it's not for top, every it's the a, top dogs. Yeah. It's not for everyone. That's you know their yeah. motto, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Never fucking give up, you know, you know, Ohana family and you know it, the you know fabric is the fabric is not for everyone, you know. It's not. And that's why when I ran into that into the brand, I seen it. I said, like, oh, I gotta have I had to have I had to have a shirt. Yeah. I was like, I need to get something. Why? Because how you said the message. Mm-hmm. And I believe in whatever you start the message behind the brand mm-hmm. is what just brings oh, out yeah. the brand. Especially if you live by it and you live through it. Live, yeah. Like if you live for it, because a lot of people and a lot of a lot of things it, it happens where you start a brand, you start a business, it doesn't take off right away mm-hmm. and you want to switch it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that didn't work. I'm gonna do this. And it and it happens, but when you see it through, and how we said, maybe not in the first year it takes off. Second year, yeah. just yeah, it takes time for something you know to build greatness. It takes time, mm. you know. If you think about yes. it, yes, greatness is never built over you know, over you know, in a period of time. Yeah, you know? There's like no the time, great, frame. the great, the great wall wasn't built, yeah, in 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 like days. It's because people want to put a time frame, yeah, you know, there's like, no magic this, pill for this. this. Nope, it, it, there's, it, there's, no, uh, there's no secret sheet to this. There isn't, there, it, to be honest, it's there's no secret sheet. Like everyone thinks there's a magic pill or, you know, like, how did you blow up so fast? It's just because, you know, I always say this, you know, for me to be in this industry, if you love this sport, yeah. you have the passion for it and you have a pure heart and you want to, you know, help people, you'll get far in this industry. You'll get people that follow you. You'll get yeah. people that, hey, I, I want to yeah. I wanna sponsor you. And, and yeah. I, I feel like when you get sponsored, in, in, a, in a sense, it's just like, Man, you believe in me. No, yeah. You believe you in know, what I do and how you know, I'm doing I, it. I always, you know, for me, like, growing up, you know, I always want a chance. You yeah. give me one chance, an That's opportunity, all. and I'll work my ass That's off. That's all I need. That's one, all I one need. One time. You know, like, I know you might not know who I am or don't know my background, but if you give me one opportunity and one chance, Facts. I will fucking work. And and If I'm, I fuck I, up, I fuck up. I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna to cut this part out here for for when we post the small clips, but how I just told you earlier, I didn't know nothing about you, but just seeing the energy, seeing what you do, how you move, and how much passion you're in this, it's like, I, I need to know what, <laughs> what and how he does it or what's behind that. How you said, no one knows the back door, but yeah. I want to know what's behind it because yeah. there's, man, not, I don't even know no exact number, but there's millions they're just trying to be on that stage mm-hmm. and be there and not just do it once, but continue it. Mm-hmm. But how we said, they they don't have the support. Maybe they don't have the funds. Maybe mm-hmm. they don't have 
the the fire in yeah. underneath them to keep it going. Yeah. And it's and bef- now that you're here, I'm like, well, this is gonna help those those young guys, yeah. those young women that, that want to be in the industry and that really want to be in it. You know, yeah. to be honest, like I, you know, anybody could be in it. Like I said, if you have the love for it, the passion for it, yeah. the heart for it. You, you will get far in this fitness industry. You know, the yeah. fitness industry now, it is a little bit fucked up. You know, like, it, let's be realistic. You know, like, you know what I mean? Some people forget about, you know, what it's about. Yeah, they do. You know, you know like, do. A lot, like, if you think about it, there's a lot of people making money off it. This is that, getting big off this, this, and that. Yep. But, you know, the thing is, you know, for me is like, you know, I just want to spread my energy and help people. You know, it, it's, you know, like, I love this sport. You know, there's no, like I said, there's no secret sheet to this shit. You your know? your energy and how we said it, the more, and how, no, nah, not what you said, energy is a powerful thing. It is. It like, is, the vibe know? is a powerful thing that when it starts in the day, when you wake up, you have if you have a shit attitude, yeah. you're going to have a shit day. Yeah. But if you have a winner attitude, if you have a winning mentality mm-hmm. and you have the the outlook of life, you're just like, well... I'm gonna make the best out of it, yeah. and how I was telling I was telling Brittany earlier in, last night. It's like if you carry yourself like a king, yeah, man, you're gonna. Oh yeah, people will know absolutely. who you are you know, without honest, knowing like, who you are. I'm not a perfect person. I have my shitty days. Like I don't like want to get up. But this yeah. and that. I'm 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 a human being, bro. Yeah. You know, I, like I said to you earlier, you know, we're, you know, I'm not I'm no better than you. Everyone is the same. Yeah. You know, people have you know, work for their standards. That's why, you know, yeah. this isn't that, you know, we bleed the same, we die the same, we're yeah. going to get, we're going to get buried the same. Facts, no matter bro. who, no matter what, Facts, no matter but, what, but you know, like the thing that for me is that gets my energy up is music. I love fucking music. <laughs> what, what's like your playlist on like, oh, dude, gym? like bro, pop smoke is one of my, one of my favorite. Uh-huh. YG is one of my favorite <laughs> yes, rappers, sir. you know, Mozzie, you know, a lot of a lot of a lot of stuff, you know. Like I like I like EDM. I love I love yeah. um, I like concert music. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I like upbeat music. Like I love like you know Callan Pharrell, Stupid Young. You know you can you, uh, the list goes on and on. You know yeah. and like being born in the nineties too. You know I love <laughs> yep. you know nineties throwbacks, two, early two th- thousands uh, R and B. You know I was telling uh, know? I was telling one of my boys at the gym and I was like he was like damn like because I was deadlifting it was like five oh five. Oh, bro, what do you do? And I was like, I put a sad song on. I get my I get my mind in that zone, mm-hmm. and no cap, I get myself in the zone where it's like, all right, this is a, this one of the sad moments I have. If I don't do this, then I go back in there. Yeah. So that means I gotta do it and to get out of here. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of people like they're like, for real, you listen to to this sad song or break oh, yeah, this. Yeah. I'm like, bro, it helps. When, it's what it helps helps. me. You I know? was like, it it helps me and and. I get to move, but the energy too when you're working out with somebody that just how you said like mm-hmm. hell yeah, bro, get it. Yeah, I believe and you got yeah. this. I was like, oh, yeah. fuck, maybe I couldn't get it, but you just hyped me up. Yeah, too. yeah. Like, now I believe that's that why. Shit. That's why you know, like I have my gym partners too. You know, they push me. You know, Dylan. You know, my best friend Rich. Fucking shredded. Yeah, you know, <laughs> they, they, they 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 push me to help me. You know, like not only for myself, but you know. It helps you, gives you that staple. You know, yeah. you ever you ever seen um, what is it called? Um, it's what uh, wait, what's his name? Leonardo the character Inception. Yes, you yeah, know that yeah, little yeah. pawn thing that keeps them know they're in reality. Yeah, the people around you are like that. If you mm. think about it, if you use it, that is that that perce- perception. You know, yeah. my, my people that I work out with, like I use them as a pawn, not not like a pawn pawn, like like as yeah. a bad use, but like to help me. You know, like oh. They're there. I gotta push even harder. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because we're we're all we all want to be winners, and that. Oh yeah. And I've I've said it. I said it in the last one, in the previous yeah. one, and I heard it. If you are around four broke friends, you'll be the fifth. Yeah. But if you're around four, four winners, winners, you'll become, you'll be become, the, become, the, you'll become yeah. the winner. Mm-hmm. And it's you know it's not. I think now how we we're saying earlier, it's normalized now to be an entrepreneur. Yeah. But it's still not normalized enough to where people believe. Yeah, in, yeah, it, you know, yeah. like they don't because like, it, it's very sketchy. Yeah, it's very, like, it's very vague too. Because like, yeah, because it's, it's it's a big gamble. Yeah, legit like grabbing you know God's dice and rolling it. Yeah, and hoping you get that seven, but yeah. you're gonna crap out when you when you first roll. You know, yeah, what I mean? and, and it's like how we said right now, and we grew up since kindergarten. They want you to have a great job, go to school, get a great job, get a good degree. 
get your dream home, get your family and happily ever after. Yeah. And the day and age we're in, that's it's ideal, but almost not enough for this world. Oh, yeah, it's so not enough. So I think in the generation that we have now in our age group and even the ones coming up, the outlook of life that they have and the visions, mm -hmm. it's like, bro, like how, how are these guys 18, 19 years old making millions and like the Nalk boys, yeah. I don't know if you see that, yeah. seen them. Yeah, but like these TikTok kids. Yeah, and, you know like I, mean? I think the the Nalk boys, uh, Steve will do it. He's what do you say, twenty three, and he's buying Teslas, giving them away, Ferraris, yeah. giving them away. Like oh, uh, what's his name? That uh, David Dobrik and yeah. like the the yeah. what's that, Mister uh, Beast and all them yeah. guys, like just making videos. Yeah, and and stuff. it's like, and we can look at them like, oh, they were made for it. They got lucky yeah. and. No, but if you really think about it, those people built their empire. Exactly. You might seem like, yeah, they got, they have the money in the world, but if you think about it, that was all built. Yeah. To be honest, even even what is what's his name that just uh, who fought? What's the like the white guy? The oh, white Logan and, Lo and Logan Jake and Paul, his brother. Yeah. Do you think about it? Yeah, he might be like a freaking you know dick and this this and that. Yeah. But but he built he, he built he built his empire. Yeah, I you, heard him you know on I mean? the. I don't know if you've seen the the podcast. I am athlete. Yeah, I love that podcast. But Jake, I think yeah, Jake came on it, mm -hmm. and he was like, "I was making YouTube videos every day for the yeah. last five years." Yeah, and I and I heard it yes two days ago. He was like, "Person, people like that that built mm -hmm. built it from the ground up." Yeah, that now no one can tell him what to do yeah. because he already has yeah. that platform. He built yeah. it. And that's why, like, I really believe it that when you carry yourself and you work your ass off, mm -hmm. and until it pays off, yeah. you're just like, well, that's the, what, that's probably the reason why they act like that, too. Yeah. Because you know, if you think about it, Logan's an entertainer, yeah. think about it. People don't really think about it. He's making money off being an entertainer. Yep. Yeah, he's being a dick, and people don't like him. But if you think about it, if you flip it and really like flip that Rubik's cube around, yeah, he's smart as hell. Yeah. Because he's making money off it. I, after your your show that that you won before before the pro, mm -hmm. did you get a lot more looks of like sponsorships uh, or shit like that? Not, opportunities? Uh, not really, not really. Like you know, like sponsorships or anything. Just you know, like you know, my following went up. You know, this, this, and that. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I had a guy do a review on me as, as an amateur. Uh, his name is Hart. Uh, he's really big on like doing reviews on the bodybuilding community. I was very blessed by him. Shout out to him though. Um, did a great review on me, and what he said about me was really you know a blessing. Oh, and, and it took off uh, on his YouTube on one of his episodes. Yeah. And um, yeah, like uh, he even there was he was saying like there's a lot of people that, that were DMing him saying that you need to review this kid, this, this, and that. <laughs> and you know being blessed to get reviewed by him, and it was pretty dope. That's you cool know? because you. I would say that just makes you feel like, fuck, what I'm doing, people are actually watching. No, yeah, it made me feel like, damn, I'm really doing something and people are really recommending yeah, me. Yeah, like, like... And, you know, if you haven't seen it, like... Go check it out. Yeah, go check <laughs> it out. It's like, to be honest, it's one of... I think that's one of my biggest accomplishments is, is getting on someone's YouTube channel and really reviewing about me. Your life. You know, what, and you. What, he, you know, what he said about me was just crazy because knowing that, you know... Um, like he even said that I was like one of like one of his favorite amateur looks, yeah. and I just didn't couldn't believe it. Like you know, yeah. someone could say this about me, you yeah. know, being so much in the industry and seeing all these other people, yeah. and you're saying this yeah. about me. Yeah, and there's a lot of great people in this industry. You know, yeah. don't get me wrong. You know, being blessed to be being sought out and people and 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 him to review was a big blessing. That's fucking but dope. you know, like. Uh, like I, you know, as we talk about sponsorships, you know, uh, like I got to give a shout out to Wholesale Nutrition. Um, they've been behind my back since day one. I've been with them since I was like, and like, st like started my like middle of my amateur career. Yeah, like, like shout, they, out, shout, to out, to shout out to them. They, shout out to them. Go yeah, check them yeah, out. Check okay, them out. They're um they're located all over o Orange County. I personally shop at the one at Lakewood. My guy Alberto, um, call him Doctor Barry. So if you ever go there, <laughs> go you know, check tap, him out. Tap, tap in with them, and you know, yes, say sir. I sent you. Buy your subs. Never buy overpriced subs. Um, yeah, he knows. You know, whoever goes there and mentions my or name name drops me, um, they'll get taken care of. Also, want to give a shout out to. Um, the SD location. SD location is run by my boy Nayef. And he he's a really great guy. If so you're in the San Diego area, please, you know, stop by there. 
And, you know, like, oh, also, I didn't really mention, like, you know, I have a company, too, with my best yes, friend. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Oh, I, want, yeah. I wanted that. I was like, all right, yeah. we need to talk about this. Yeah, yeah, that, too. And then we'll talk about, you know, the you, whole Wolves thing, too. <laughs> you, all right, so we're going to switch it. Yeah. Your brand. Yeah. You've been working on the brand, and just recently, yeah. you took it out. What was it, like? Three, four weeks ago, yeah, right? it was like it was like yeah, three, four weeks ago, and uh, it's been a blessing. I uh, started with uh, my my best friend is the is the main owner, you know. I'm you know I'm just you know his partner. Yeah, you know, all credits to him. He's the one that started. He's my best friend. I grew up with him. His name is Rich Rich Malakas. Uh, he's uh, we started a company called Primary mm. uh, Clothing Brand. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. So with you know. Starting that, you know, we didn't really think, you know, pop off and this and that, you know, not even not even a few couple of days, you know, it just took off. People were buying just yeah. because of the crazy support for me and uh, him. And I'm very truly blessed that people, you know, like, you know, bought, bought, bought our oh, product. Yeah. And, you know, another big opportunity was being blessed to be put. Our product was put into wholesale nutrition. She and not a lot of Hell people yeah. not a lot of people could say they got into a store right away you know what i mean yeah it takes time it takes time like we're, we're basically we're just basing it off on online sales and really pushing the brand out but you know i've been with wholesale for so long they blessed me and i asked for the opportunity to carry my product in the supplement store and sell it that's dope and you know it's crazy. First, the it, we started at the SD location. Shout out to Nayaf. Nayaf. So he he you know they ordered some, and then we got into Lakewood, and you know hopefully we could you know push out more and get into all the other stores. And what? So what's uh, what's? I don't know. We can we know what's next? What's oh, the next? What's next? Right now we're gonna push out more product. We're gonna you know get restock on our shorts, and we're gonna we're actually gonna do a woman's line too. So, so you gotta stay yeah, tuned. Yeah, yeah. So stay tuned for that. Hell so yeah. you know, me and my partner, you know, it, it, we weren't th really thinking about it. Like we didn't think, to be honest, like that it was gonna it pop off. It, it legit popped off in th two, three days. Bam. Online sales, people were buying, legit buying just for support. Yeah. And we couldn't believe it because, like, it was just like, damn, like it takes forever for a lot of people to start their sh their own business. Yeah, it, it, it's it's. Especially where where we're at, everybody starts businesses, yeah. right? A lot of businesses shut down because oh, we didn't get the love, or this yeah. didn't sell, yeah. or this or that. But it, how how we keep repeating it, like out of the energy, the hard work, and the results mm -hmm. that you guys have done. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know your boy, but I'm sure he's the same way. Oh yeah, we we've been through everything. Yeah, that's my, that's my best friend. So that's like, why I I honestly say I believe it. He's gone through the same thing you know we, we got through our depressions area and you know yeah. hard areas and stuff and you know we always been together and like um yeah we've been there for each other and like you know he brought he the main reason of making it is because we wanted to make a brand that you know everyone felt like they were like primary like they're number one or like they're you have to feel that way to feel you know That's you're you're, number, you're 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 the number one self you know yeah. what I mean? you're you're the main thing you know, yeah. not just everyone else, you know, Hell yeah! because everyone forgets the for, forgets about themselves. Like, you know, yeah. for me, I'm a people pleaser. Like uh, I rather, to be honest, I rather, I would, I would um, rather please my friends before I, I please myself or, you know what I mean? So do you think now that that slightly changed that you got to take care of you? Yeah. And then now you are able to feed the table, mm -hmm. right? How yeah. You were saying that's, earlier. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. You know, I'm thinking about more of myself in my career, but yeah. at the same time, you're I, not forgetting I, about, yeah, I'm not, I want, I, there's enough. There's enough room in my table for everyone to eat. Facts. I you heard know, it from like, uh, Eric Thomas. Said you can come eat at my table. Just don't take it to go. No, yeah. Don't get. Don't come get a plate yeah. and take it to yeah. go. Like come sit down. Yeah, yeah. Come enjoy this with yeah. us. Come enjoy the like, winning. Join the energy. Join my vibe. You know, if you yeah. you know like you know, shout out to everyone that that's been riding with me. Like you know, big big ups to them. You know, people like I don't even know. You know, I really, you know, your support and love really get, keeps me going as well. I, you know, something I, I really wanted to get out there, you know, like I get a lot of people, you know, saying stuff and, you know, to them, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that people say I'm their inspiration to help them out, get through their day or help be their inspiration in the sport. Yeah. And it's a real blessing, you know, like it, it, it's something I, I don't want to take for granted, but yeah. you know, for them, for everyone, you know, to let them know, like, like I always say, you know, you know, we're all the same. You yeah. know, I, I, you know, yeah, I might be, you know, you know, somewhere, 
but I'm no better than them. And yeah. they could be in my position too if they really put in the time. In exactly, it. if and they really put in the time. Yeah, put, and that's, put the and, love, the time, and the passion into it. And that's where I, how the message we shot out last time. I want to do it again. Like we got to normalize it that the product and the result that we have now, it's just a result of the hard work that we've all put mm -hmm. in already. I mean, getting up, being tired, still going, putting in, putting our body through hell, putting our mind through hell, and emotions through hell. To just come back and be like, we're I'm winning, mm -hmm. but the people that were still with me, yeah. riding with me, mm -hmm. that means we're all winning, yeah. and that's where, you know, you came on here, and then the 22 other people that were on, like when shit pops off, yeah, we're all winning. Yeah, we're all we're eating. All winning. You know, at we're the end of the day, we're all we're all feet, we're all eating at the table there's together. Enough. There's, there's enough. enough there's enough. There's enough. There is uh, enough. You know, you can't. We're not. You know, the, we can't be selfish about this. You yeah. know. Yeah, you have to be selfish for yourself and stuff, but there's enough to go around. It's like how it's gonna be a sick transition, but like we're talking about uh, wolves, the Ohana. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You gotta be, you gotta have family. That family oh, supports absolutely. you. That yeah. family loves you. Yeah. And good or bad, ugly and beautiful. Yeah, we riding. Yeah, we just gotta ride. You know, no matter what, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly. You just gotta ride with them. You know, the people that ride with you'll know who will ride with you and really stick with you. Yeah, you know, like you know. I know, I know we were talking about sponsorships and stuff, you know, like, to be honest, like, like my goal was, you know, coming back was my goal was to become a wolf, you know, like, um, I love, I love their message, what they speak for and stuff. And like, you know, um, I'm, I'm, I know a lot of some personally, some of the wolves and they're, you know, they're great. They're great athletes. Yeah. You know, like I know, you know, I cannot be like them, but I want to be part of that group and represent them. And, and push the message out, push my message out with the wolves mentality. Part of them, yeah. You know, you know, you know. That's why I wear it. You know, like I, I wear it on my back when I go to the gym, when I go out. You know, you know. The, it, it's it's one of my one of my goals that I need to check. I want to check off on my list. Yeah. And you know, hopefully, you know, I get blessed. You know, to be able to become one. Oh, you yeah. know, but you know, like I I know to be honest, like there's other other athletes that want to be wolves. And I think that I probably do deserve to become one before me. But, you know, like, if my time comes, my time comes. And, you know, like, you know, I'm willing to work to until I could become one. Yeah. I mean, that that's just so – that honestly is just fucking dope because how you, how you just said right now that you hope one day you're doing, but, it, I mean, it doesn't – you don't stop there. No, yeah. That doesn't restrict you from everything else, like, primary. That doesn't restrict you from – going on stage and on your first pro debut mm -hmm. like it doesn't a lot of people stop and in our age yeah. a lot of people stop because this wasn't obtained yeah it's like well how about yeah. that wasn't meant for you yeah what if this was yeah. meant for yeah. you and it's up here now yeah. like it's just part of the whole process it's yeah. part of life like yeah. shit is gonna be for you and yeah, shit is not, not gonna, gonna be, be for you. you understand it and if you don't want to understand it um, you know you're gonna have a hard time but yeah. Shit, life goes on. That the time on the on the clock keep going, mm -hmm. and the more you sit around and very vulgar here, the more you sit around and bitch, the more you waste yeah, time. Exactly. And the now time you're set back. You know, like, like I told you earlier when I when we talked before we even started. You know, like to be honest, like you know, I told you like I'm not. I don't feel satisfied that I, yeah. I'm a pro. You know, yeah, I earned the card and I earned the title, but to be honest, I haven't done shit to prove to to the league yet to prove that I'm I'm because that's I'm, a whole I'm realm, yeah. And you know, like I think uh, it's funny because uh, Gianna uh, Giannis was talking to this interview yesterday, yeah. like, the day before. I don't know if you saw it. Like he was talking about when you talk about the past, this is you're, you're living in the past and not thinking about the future. Yeah. And you know, I was really thinking about it. You know, like what I did in the past is already said and done. Yeah, you can't. And I haven't, it. I haven't, you know, this is a new chapter in my book that I'm starting. And to be honest, like, like, yeah, everyone thinks I'm ready for the pro leagues, this, this, and that, which I'm really blessed. You know, like everyone, I have their support in saying that I'm ready. Yeah. But I haven't proven anything that I think I'm ready for it. Yeah. And I need, and that's what, what I'm, what I'm right now, I'm ready, what I'm trying to do right now is to get, I, there. get start the work. The real work starts now. The job ain't done yet. You know, like yeah. Kobe said, you know. My my, this is just the start of my the real work, yeah. and you know uh, I'm ready to you know prove myself that I I could belong in the league and like you know I'm you know to to earn my spot at the ta at their table. Yeah, that's how I see it. I haven't you know like you know basically I'm like tapping on the door being you know 
you know, in it's my like a, it's like a line at the club. Like yeah, I'm yeah, just trying yeah, to wait yeah, to you, get you in. You want to be respectful about yeah. it because you know, you know, I always show respect for people that 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 turn pro before me. Yeah. You know, because they done it. You know, and you know, right now I'm like, right now I'm trying to earn my seat at the table with them, and 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 I know I've been in the industry for a while, and I felt like in my heart I feel like that's the most respectful way and the right way to do it. Yeah. Is to earn your spot yeah. at the table. Yep. And not not just be like, oh, I'm a pro, I'm in the league, I'm you know what big I mean? Headed yeah, big headed, yeah, and that that's that's fucking dope because you're keeping your ten toes on the floor. Mm, that's what and, I and no matter the the fame or no yeah. matter what, it's like my ten toes are on the floor. Yeah. Why? Because I still got to work. Yeah, I am still, I still got to keep going. Yeah, I gotta still, you know, that's what I always try to keep, to, you know, in my head too. Like I always want to keep my feet on the ground. Yeah, and 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 just keep preaching what I love and do and just work. And oh. Damn. <laughs> All right. You mentioned something right now yeah. about you didn't find your true friends until you hit college. Yeah, I, I, I to be honest, like. I, there's a lot of, you know, great people I met throughout my life, you know, and stuff. And, like, I felt like the people I met in college are more true to me mm. than, you know, like, like, I'm not trying to point fingers at anybody, you know. But, you know, like, you know, growing up, I felt like I, I was, like, you know, just people pleasing. I finally realized I, was just, I felt like I was just people pleasing these people, you know. Yeah. And, like, I felt like I thought these three people would be my friends forever. Some some of them, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, but, you know, like... At the end of the day, like you know, uh, the people that I met in college, I felt like they're more, more of my real. They're, they're more meant for yeah. your your life, like yeah. giving that yeah. real. How we said that that pawn that yeah. that realization of of life yeah. and how you said, and I think I wanted that's why I wanted you to repeat it because in high school we knew everybody, yeah, and we we're just trying to fit in and yeah. please everybody. Yeah. Oh, this is this. I'll do it. Yeah, part of the group. Yeah, I'm the yeah, cool yeah, kid yeah. Now. yeah. I felt, yeah, I felt like that too. You know, like I, I knew a lot of people in high school and stuff. And like, don't like, you know, like whoever's watching that's from high school. Like, there's certain people that I know, like you know, like that I'm cool. Yeah. And then there's some people that we just fell off because, and then but the Shit thing is, happens. like, I felt like I felt like you know, I, I don't know. I was just trying to you know people please. You know. Yeah, that's and then, that's the and it still happens now. Like. Where we're at in life, people think that because you buy a three hundred dollar bottle at the club or six hundred dollar bottle, like you're pleasing your audience or yeah. your people. Like, oh hell that's yeah, like, that's a short. That's a, yeah, yeah, how we said talking. it's the your short, fix. Yeah, it's the, the short fix. fix. The fix like, that that you get from those people, and then we're like after the bottle. Yeah, where are they gonna be at? Yeah, but when that when that last drop in that bottle's empty, where are they gonna be at? Yeah, day it's tomorrow. Either, it's either they're gonna stay at the table and. Mess with you, or they're gonna go back on the floor and you know and, find their and people, find somebody you know else. I mean? yeah, and, yeah, and it's the following day; those people are not there anymore. Yeah, or they're, they don't even text you like yeah. thanks for like you know providing alcohol. Yeah, this or how like, how much do I owe you? Like, bro, yeah. let me put in. Or yeah, that's it's not always how we said it. It's not the money part. It's yeah. just the thought, the thought of it, right? Yeah. Because I know I know people that make good money. Yeah, and he could pay for the twenty dollar meal that we're eating, yeah. or I'll pay it. Yeah. And it's like, bro, it's a thought. Like we're yeah, fighting yeah. about who's gonna pay right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, man, I know you make good money. I make good money, yeah. and we're still it's, fighting yeah. about this. It's just the gen generosity. Yes. That it's just the genuine from your heart and the yeah. respect. Not, it, not the. I don't like having, and I cut those people having people that just want to take and take mm -hmm. and take until you got nothing yeah. left. Because when we hit rock bottom and we got nothing to offer yeah. at that moment, mm -hmm. those people are the ones that leave. Oh, yeah. And then when we have something again, they come back. Ah, yeah. oh, dude, yeah. nice to catch yeah. up with you. Yeah. Nice to talk yeah. to you. It's like, man, where were you? But if you think about it, those random people that you do meet that yeah. come into your life are the ones that, like, that, that you don't even have a long relationship with them are the ones that really, like do care sometimes yeah like it's just weird they like they really want to see you win like yeah. maybe they don't talk to you every day yeah. or every hour every minute but at the end of the day they're the, still the ones that believe in you and are like bro i'm proud of you i'm oh, happy yeah. for you and it's those how we said earlier those words just hearing those words is like fuck that's crazy like you believe that yeah you yeah. think that about yeah. me and like, you don't even you haven't you don't even know me that well you know what i mean yeah. to even, like to say that you how know you I mean? said it like i haven't even hit my my peak and you're already mm -hmm. that means i'm doing something right no yeah absolutely you know it, it's just you know it's just how the world is you know sometimes you it's, cruel, it's cruel man it, it, it's cruel as shit and you either 
how we how I just said it. You either take it how it is and you keep you find your way, you keep going, or that's just gonna eat you alive. Oh, yeah, yeah, and you're gonna yeah, be a victim. Yeah. Victim of and, the whole. and always be used, you know. Yeah. So I don't I don't know if you watched the ending of the episodes, but I've been asking on a one to ten scale, like mm-hmm. where are you at? Like mm-hmm. in a mental, uh, emotional, uh-huh. uh in that in your life, yeah. you know, one one being you can't do it no more, uh-huh. you're giving up. Uh-huh. Ten being you're you're perfect. Um, I could say I'm like in between, probably like maybe like I don't know, maybe like a let's put like maybe like six and nine between those areas. You could like I'm probably bobbling. Mm. You know, I'm not perfect yet. Yeah. There's more work I could do, but I'm not satisfied with you know how I am. I know I could always change and improve to be better. Yeah. Um, but you know, like, you know, f- with the blessings of, you know, my wins these couple of last months and all this, this energy and all this, you know, all this stuff that's coming, you know, it's been helping me. It's been pushing me up more. Yeah. You know, sometimes, you know, like I, sometimes I still can't believe that I'm a pro. Sometimes like, I can't believe I've, I've done what I did with the pinch night. myself. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, like <laughs> these last couple of months I was able to accomplish that. Yeah. You know, and, you know, and, um, then with the whole, but, you know, you know, I'm still, you know, I'm not perfect. You know, I still battle with my own self sometimes thinking I'm not good enough sometimes or, you know, what can I do to be better? What can I do to push myself to improve? But, uh, but I'm at that point where like, to be honest, I'm like, I, I I think about like what I could do better or what I could do to get better in this industry or what I could do better to improve myself in this sport and, 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 and how I could impact more. So I, I don't oh, think yeah. I, I don't think I'm gonna be ever be perfect no. because I feel like you know I'm I'm at the bo- that that starting to middle point of tapping tapping at the door and really like trying to bring out my full potential bring out the greatness because I feel like I know I have more to give to this sport and in this industry and the to people, the world uh, man yeah, to, to the, the world, world and the, the people yeah. around me yes like and, I said like and, and for my culture you know representing Filipinos I feel like I could do more to you know push our culture and our, and our people too. So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, on both sides of cultures and all, a lot of cultures right now that mm-hmm. there's just a lot of hate. There's a lot oh, yeah. of, there's a lot of down, like just negativity. It's like, man, we're all people. Yeah. Right? We're, dude, we're all people. Say, we're all the same. Like, like we, like I said, dude, yeah, we're, you're going to bleed human, the same, bleed the same, die the same and get buried the same. Yeah. Right next why, to each why, other. Why, so. why, why hate, you know, yeah. why, why spread the you know love. What I mean, like, Next thing you know, you're gonna be buried by an African American or a Chinese person, or you know or what I mean, or, or Hispanic, Asian, Hispanic. You know, what? What, 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 you're dead. What are you gonna do? You're gonna, you're gonna, you're yeah. gonna be like, hey, no, don't do can that. You move, can you move your? You know, you can't do that. Yeah. At and the, you know, at just, the end of the day, it's just you just gotta, you know, to be honest, like something I like to say too. Like I, I've been thinking about this for a while. Like, if you don't like me, you don't have to like me. Facts. But I would want you to respect me for my hard work and what I stand for. I think that's a good way to balance it out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. if you, or if you, you know, if you don't like me, find out about me or get to know me or, you know what I mean? Facts. You know and what I mean? But if you, if, but if you don't want to do that, you could hate, you, you don't, you don't have to like me. This is that just respect for what, for how hard I work. Yeah. For and what in my thing. I, <laughs> this week I tweeted it because, and it was like, how can you hate somebody that you just don't know? Yeah, you like know, I'm, can, I'm guilty of that too. Dude. Yeah, like, me, yeah, fuck yeah, me guilty. too. Everyone's everybody, guilty. like no I, matter. I, I, I've given personas, and I'm just saying I don't like this person. But when, when you finally get to know them, you're like, oh damn, this guy's pretty like, good. You're really you know? cool. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's 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 what is it? Called? It's Mother Nature. It's nature. You know, it, yep. it's just how we are as human yeah, beings. No one's, how like you that. said, no one's perfect. Yeah. No one's perfect, and you're gonna have those moments. You've had the moments already because we all we're all humans. We've done it. But it's just like, especially now where we're at, it's like, all right, if you hate me, again, yeah. you can do it. You can do it. Just, just respect, respect my grind. Respect, respect what I respect do. Respect the grind and yeah. the work. And what I do. I think that I think that, that's a good leveling out place, you know, like, yeah. to be honest. Like, it, 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 it also taught me something, too, you know, like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be, I'm not perfect. Like, I, I, there's people I don't like, you know what I mean? There's yeah. people I cannot like, but I'll respect their grind. I, yeah. I just got to think about they, they fucking work hard. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you don't have to like them. No just respect for what they do. You Fuck know? yeah! It's, I'd rather have people show me their true colors and the true love compared to being fake and just being around oh, me yeah. because of whatever the reason yeah, is. Absolutely. It's like, look, you don't like me. 
It's cool. Go yeah, your, go, you know, go yeah, your lane, yeah, bro. Yeah, That's yeah, it. You could, you know, it's, yeah. I'll stay in my lane. Yeah. And, you know, and right, good luck to you. Yeah, yeah. Take yeah. care. To be honest, like, you could all, all you could do is wish the best for for them. Yeah. You know, you know, blessings to them. You know, whatever. You know, this is and that. Because the energy comes back. Oh yeah, the energy comes back. You know, like yeah. energy is powerful, man. Like it's just yeah. the vibe that you give off, the vibe that you give, yeah. and, and and the vibe that you receive and stuff is a big thing. And you know, just you know. Just hope for the best for them. And just let them do their thing. Yeah. You know, it's that, just like, that's that's literally. There's not much more. Not it. Everybody that you come across, or everybody in this world, can not like you. No, yeah, and, I, yeah. And all that matters is the ones around you. Oh, yeah. And the ones you come across, mm -hmm. and even then, the ones that the new people you come across, they might not see you the same way. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, but it's like, but you cannot deny how hard I work. No, and yeah. What I do, mm -hmm. so. Good luck to you. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> you know and that's uh, in spreading the love again. Yeah. Spread the positive energy. Yeah. Spread the love to everybody around you, everybody Absolutely. that comes around you in your page because what people don't like is being two-faced. And what people, yeah. what I think is not cool is when you're one way on, on camera and then when you turn it yeah. off, you're completely opposite. Yeah, and, and, and that's all, like, if you think about it in this, you know, in the social media industry, there's a lot of people that are like that. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not trying to point fingers. Yeah, it's really true. Yeah, like and people find that out. Uh, on yeah, their people own. find out. Oh, you, f you will find that out when you meet them in person. Yeah, fuck, like yeah. you, you know, you follow all these people and they're like great on the on the social media, on but the when you see them, you're just like, oh hey, you know, it's like it's nice to meet you, and they're just like, whoa, they're a whole yeah. another person. You're just like. Yeah. Oh, what's going on? Like, like, who is that really? You is yeah, that really yeah. how you are? Mm -hmm. And. What I, what I'm trying to establish, what I'm trying to, it's like, all right, we're not just here for the short term. Mm -hmm. We're trying to build for a long term mm -hmm. for as long as we can able to do this. And mm -hmm. as long as we're blessed to do this, yeah. let's write it. Yeah. Let's write it to then and, and mm -hmm. let's find a new venture. Yeah. Let's find a new, a new uh, fruit that we can, we can yeah. grow in. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, you know, you gotta, you also gotta think of it in other ways too. Like, you know. They might have a bad day. You can't, you can't always off of one day, uh, off, yeah. off one one meeting. Sometimes they might be having a bad day. Yeah, they might be off. But really, you know what I mean. Yep. Sometimes you got to you got to put that in perspective too. Yeah, you can, we can't forget about that. Yeah, they, can't you know, be I have my bad days too. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, you know, like I know how I say, like I'm the same all and off camera. But there's days that I might have a bad day on not having a really swell day. Yeah, and I might give off the wrong impression. But you know, like you know what I mean. Yeah, there it always has to be that leeway. Yeah, to give to give that chance. You people know? just, yeah, you got to give, just give them a chance. Give yourself that opportunity also to really learn, and find out about people because people's stories like after today, people are gonna know your story even more. No, yeah, know my part and shit, and maybe the newer newer people that watch it yeah. will come across and be like, damn, yeah. like that yeah. that that's the type. No, yeah, you, that's, know, what I'm you know that's what I'm trying to do is that, you know, you know. To make an impact for the these next generation of, of young guys that want to be in this industry and that yeah. want to compete you know you gotta you know um you know they forget about the other aspects the main aspects you yeah. know like of of this industry yeah it's cool to look great this is and that yeah. post and get all the likes and followings like i was like that too i started like that too i wanted to do get into fitness because i wanted to get big on instagram this is and that but I learned like there's a more meaning into fitness than just that, you know, like, like you got to preach your message, you know, like, Facts. you know, like, like the guys that I meet and, and help, you know, like that want to get in the industry. I, I always, I don't teach them about like how to work out. So I tell them like, you gotta, you gotta be passionate, loving, caring yeah. and, sh and share and help those around you that need help. Facts. Because, you know, that's going to get you a long way in this industry now. You know yeah. what I mean? That's how, how I see it. Yeah. This is how I see everything. Yeah. You don't have to agree with what I say, you know, you know, this, this, and that. But this is how I see it. And this is what I'm trying to pass on to the next generation of men's uh, uh, young competitors that we're going to come up. They're going to come and, up. And, and teach them how to, you know, build themselves up and, and in a respectful way. Like, you could take it and, you know, use it. You know, this, this, and that. If it works for you, it works for you. Yeah. Like, I'm just trying to help you out. You know, like, you know, all the work you're doing is all you. Yeah. I'm just trying to help you mold and, 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 and give you my perspective of how you could be successful in the industry. You know, like, Thanks. like when I give something, I always, you know, like, I always say, you don't have to t 
do what I tell you to do. Yeah. You could go, you could go in your ear, out there. You could save it in your back pocket. This, this is and that. This is just what yeah, helped yeah. Me. This is what helped me get yeah. where I'm at. You know, you could use it or not use it. At the at the end of the day, that's free information that could help you get better. Yeah. And like, and to be honest, like. I'm not losing anything, dog. <laughs> Whatever I tell you, I'm not losing anything because I've, I'm, I'm manifesting what, what yeah. I'm, I'm, I got off of it. Yeah. And it's working for me. Yeah. If it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you. It happens. It happens. It happens. It doesn't work for everybody. But, if, you know, if you have an open mind and open heart and just think about it and, and put it in perspective, then, right. then, then, then utilize it and try to use it. We just want to, we just want to give you free game out here. I know, dude. To be honest, there's, game, pe- there's people that, that will charge, like, you know, hella yeah. money for... for, for I, we need you guys to send, send Venmo right now. <laughs> what we just did, you're gonna, we're going to charge you on this <laughs> nah, one. You know, and I, and I tell these guys, too, like, if whatever I told you helped you, like, what, the way I taught you how to work out, the, you know, what, what yeah. to, the ment- your mentality rate... The, the, I told him like whatever work you did, that's all you. Yeah. I didn't do anything. If you're gonna be like you know, you know, they always be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna thank you. Like you don't have to thank me. I that's, just all, re- that's, that's all I just, you. Yeah, I just reminded you of what yeah, you already knew. That, that's all you. That's yeah. all. All the work is because of you, not because of me. I just it was just a, a a tool to help you. Yeah. But but I always say I told I told the youngers like the best thing you could do for 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 me like you know pass it on to the next people that you meet yeah. when you get big or with whoever you meet pass and help Facts. help. That's the way that I, I feel satisfied with, you know, like them thanking me facts, is, facts. To, is to take what I taught them, let them manifest it and pass it, pass it to on the to, next. to the next. You don't really, you don't really need a, you know, I don't expect people to give me money for, you know what I mean? I don't expect like thanks or tokens. Just yeah. spread that shit. Oh, just, shit. just, just give it back to yeah. the people that, cause there's going to be, like I said, there's enough table, there's enough, enough room on room the table t- for everyone to eat. Yeah. And there's, you know, this world is freaking big, you know, I'm, I can't be everywhere at once, you know what I mean, to help people. Yeah. But if you're in a different area and, you know, you could carry what I told you to somewhere. To somebody that else. It's just gonna, keep spreading yeah, that it's message. It's going to spread, like, like, you know, like Corona, like, it's going to spread. That's a good one, though. Not, not to be mean and, like, be like, you know what I mean, yeah. it's just a joke, you know. But, it, but like, it's not going to work. It's a... It's a true thing, as uh, as as funny as it is. <laughs> it's just a true thing. Like yeah, it's gonna it's gonna spread. It's gonna spread. It's gonna spread, and you know, and and people, like I said, the the energy spreads, and people are gonna catch it. They're gonna, fight, you know what I mean? Hell yeah! yeah. But thank you, bro. This was thank you, sh- thank you for a having toast me. to life, yeah, man. Like, because a, uh, what you what you did and and coming over, like how you said, man, I'm yeah, gonna thank you because yeah. this was good. So no, for I the appreciate people you, that you know, like I really appreciate you having me here and letting me be able to talk. You know, I know I, I barely just met you. Hell yeah, and it's a re- <laughs> it's a privilege and, and no, it's an honor for me that. to be here, be, be on here with you. And I appreciate thank you so that, much. man. And thank you guys. for everyone watching and stuff. You know, thanks for taking the time. You know, give him a follow, give me a follow. Hell you yeah, know, that's link. you know the best thing you could do. So we're gonna link it all on yeah. here. So hit the follow button, yeah. subscribe, subscribe, share. like, share everything, bro. Hey, uh, keep that one speed, and you know so. <laughs> Com- comment on there if we want to start seeing his YouTube channel. That uh, oh yeah, he, we're gonna get it out there. He's gonna get it. <laughs> Hopefully, out there. I'll get it started. But you know, yeah, yeah. But if you know, if you guys want to give me a follow, uh, my uh, Instagram is j underscore shreds underscore ivb pro. Uh, but yeah, dude, Shit, just really, you know, one hit, speed. Hell yeah! <laughs> Stay tuned for the next one.